Amen. So if you would, I won't be before you long. Um, I'm going to get right into the word this morning. I had um, a word that the Lord had gave me a while back. And I want to go to Isaiah 43. And then from there we'll go to Philippians. So we we're gonna go a little bit this morning. But what I wanted to mention on today was um, having a new mindset. God, if you're in the night room and God is wanting to birth a new mindset for the people, people of God. Um, we know that the word tells us that we ought to be, our minds should be renewed. So when something is renewed, there's a refreshing. And God is saying that he is preparing us, with, he's, he's preparing us with a change of mindset. The reason we're needing a new mindset and, and um, a change of mindset, some of we're still stuck in the old way of thinking. And so God is wanting to do a refreshing a freshening of our mind and how we think and how we view things. And so Isaiah 43, uh, verses 18 through 19, it says, Remember ye not the form of things, neither consider the things of all. The whole, he's going to do a new thing. He said, I'm, I'm doing a new thing in your mind. I'm doing a refreshing in your mind. I want you to have a new mindset. So he said, don't remember those old things. Put them away. But he said, and, and don't even consider the, he said, remember ye not the form of things. And, 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 and don't even consider the old things. He said, I'm going to do a new thing. And what God is doing in this season, in this nice season, he's birthing new things. And, you, and the way you view things in the past that don't you don't want to view them or have the uh, thoughts of uh, having those thoughts of the way God has done it in the past or the form, he said, I'm doing something new. Amen. So we, we need a fresh mindset on what God is going to do this season. We need a fresh uh, view of what God is doing. And so God said, I'm, 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 gonna do, I'm doing something new, and I want you to have a new, a new way of thinking. And not only that, um, but a, a new uh, a vision and to be able to see. Because even an apostle was uh, mentioning um, a couple of weeks ago, he was talking about expectation. He talked about obtaining. How many of you know that? To, in order to expect something, but also in, to obtain, you got to have a different mindset. Right. Amen? Right. So our mindset needs to be changed. We're, uh, we're, God is saying, I want to give you a new mindset. And, and so, may the spirit, of, the spirit of a new mindset rest upon us in this season. We're, we're asking God to give us a fresh anointing, a fresh mindset, a newness of a new way of thinking, a new way of looking at things, and, and, and seeing him and everything that he's doing. Because he's in all the, he's doing so many things in this season, and even like I mentioned, um, the marriage ceremony on yesterday was so beautiful and lovely, and God, and we're only going up from here. God has joined the union, the family, the, the family dynamic, in the house, in the body of Christ. So you got to have a different mindset on what God is doing. You can't continue to think on the way, think of the old way, or those formal things that he's done. So I'm doing something new, but I need you to have a fresh mindset about what I'm doing. Amen. Amen. So uh, if you would go to uh, Philippians 2 with me. How many of you know, it, it's, 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 a, it's a blessing when you get refreshed or something renewed. We all feel good when we get something new, right? And you feel, it, it makes you feel different. So God said, I want to give you a new mindset, a new way of looking at things, a new, um, so uh, Philippians 2 is where I want to go. God's doing something new with the body of Christ, with this ministry, with his word ministry, and it's going to be marvelous in our sight. Amen. Amen. Philippians 2, I'm going to start reading in verse 1. And I'm going to go down to verse 5. It says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, 
if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being on one accord of one mind. Do you see that? He said, we need to be like-minded individuals. We need to we need to believe the same thing. We need to declare the same thing. We need to decree the same thing. And then when it says be like-minded, what is it to be like-minded? So he goes on to say, having the same love. Walking in love. Showing love. But that's being like-minded. Being like-minded is also being on one accord. We all, like I said, believe in the same thing, saying the same thing, decreeing the same thing, declaring the same thing. We are all on one accord. We're believing, we're trusting and believing what God is saying. He said, I, that's being like mine. That's why he said, I'm, I'm, I want to do a new thing and I want to give you a new mindset and I want a, um, he wants a new mindset to rest upon the body of Christ because he said, I need y'all, everybody to be on one accord. I don't need no division, I don't need no confusion. I don't need nobody at all. But I need everybody on one accord so you can know what I'm doing. Amen? So then he goes on, he said, so he said, I need you to have having the same love. That agape love, the love of God. He said, I want you to walk in love. I, I want everybody to uh, have the same love, being on one accord and of one mind. One mind. God said, I need y'all to be on one, have one mind. And then he goes on to say, let nothing be done through strife. Let nothing, let nothing be done through vain glory. He said, do a thing. So he tells us that we need to be like-minded. But he comes, to, he comes back and says, don't be in strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind. Loneliness. So he said, be like-minded. Having the same love, being on one accord, and one mind, but a loneliness is another mindset. Amen? So he said, being low, a loneliness of mind is this thing, it basically esteems others better than yourselves. You are able to praise others. Amen? You're not selfish. Amen? You support others. You encourage others. He said, be like minded, but also be in loneliness of mind. Humble yourself. Praise another man. Encourage someone else. You know, when someone is being blessed, and God is blessing someone, you be thankful. You, you, you don't be selfish or um, jealous, but you say, you know, I'm next in line. I thank God that you got what you've been waiting for. I thank God that God is blessing you, and God is opening doors for you, but he's doing it for the whole body of Christ. And that's why he said, guess what? I need you to renew your mind. I need you to have a new mindset. Amen. So that let nothing be done through strife and vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not, look not every man on his own things. Don't be concerned just about you. Yeah, right. On your just me, my boy, no more. You know, uh-uh. I'm concerned about the whole body. Right, right. The whole body. I want to see the whole body. Yes. I want to see God moving in every household. I want to see every family blessed, every individual. God said, change your mind. Don't be selfish. Don't just think about you. Don't just pray for you in your household. Pray for somebody else. Help somebody else. So that's what he's saying. Like mindedness and loneliness of mind. So he said, look not, a, not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind being you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal to God. He said, let this mind, his mind. So, you know, I, we've heard, I've heard saying, oh, people say, well, hey, I'm staying mind. Sometimes it's good that if we lose our mind. So we can gain the mind of Christ. Because so sometimes the, our mind and the way we think and our mindset will get us in trouble. Will get us the things that we don't need to be involved in. So we need to lose that mindset and gain the mind of Christ. Amen. So he said, I want to, I, I want to, uh, 
if this is a season that he said, I'm going to birth a new mindset for you. Let have a, a light, be light-minded, loneliness of mind, light-mindedness, and loneliness of mind. It's a new mindset. This is the mindset he wants us to develop. This is the mindset that he wants us to obtain. This is how he said, I want you to change the way you think. I want you to change the way you think. We've been anointed. God, we've been in the past a month or two, we would have, apostle had instructed us to anoint our heads. Anoint our heads, our eyes, and our ears. We were anointing our heads for a new mindset. God said, apply the oil. Because I need you to renew your mind. I need you to develop a new mindset. I need you to change the way you've been thinking. Don't think the way you've thought in the past. Because we're in a new season. We're going somewhere. And God is taking us places. And you can't use the way you thought in the past for where you are in this season. You got to have a different mindset. You got to have a different view. You got to know that God is in the midst. And God is moving. He said, change your mind. Because you, if you think on the way that you thought in the past, you'll say, that ain't God. God ain't doing like that. He, he ain't doing it the way he's done it in the past. He going to use some different people. God is, God is about to release some things to us, new things to the body of Christ, to the people of God. And you can't, you can't look at it and view it in the way that you viewed it in the past. Right. Because you say, well, he did it like this last uh, last season, last year, or last month. He used this person, but he's going to do something different. Right. Amen? Amen? Amen. He, he's going to use a different, he's going to send other people that you're not even familiar with familiar with. It may just be a stranger. But guess what he said? You gotta change the way you think. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So, uh, this new mindset will help us accept what God is doing. Right. It's gonna help us accept and embrace yes. the new things that God is doing in this season. Right. So that's why he said I need to, I need to uh, he's wanting us to birth a new mindset. Yeah. I need you to renew your mind. Because I don't want you rejecting right. the people that I'm sending yeah. to bless you yeah. or you, the places I'm sending you and the people that I'm sending to speak to you to bless you, to help right. bless you. He yeah. said, change your mind. So accept, he said, accept it, uh, a new mindset. Take on the mind of Christ. Right. Because the way you thought in the past, you, it would hinder us. And we don't want to miss God. We don't want to reject what God is doing. We don't even want to reject the people he's sending. God, uh, the apostle said, it's not expectation. What are you expecting? Don't expect the way you've done it in the past to be the way in this season. He said, uh -uh, I'm doing it different. And I need you to be on one accord. I need you to have like mind, be like minded. I need you to walk in love. I need you to be on one mind. One mind, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. He said, a new mind. A new mindset. Amen. So so we want to embrace and accept what God is doing in this season. And even for new, it may be new things. Financially, in your career, in your in, in your ministry, in your calling. And it's big right. thing. Right. How many of you know your mindset needs to be set on? I'm expecting faith. When I go or when I go to the place and, I, and I'm, if it's a meeting or something, I'm expecting faith. That's right. better to be your mindset. Right. Apostle said last week, expectation. You know, the expectation is a breeding ground for you. You got to have the mindset of expectation. Right. You got to be looking for a move of God. You got to be expecting God. You, you, got, you got to say, okay, if you go in that place, you go in that meeting, you go in your job, if they call you and say, then I need to have a talk with you. You go in with the expectation. God, I'm expecting to see you. Yeah. God, what are you saying? God, I'm looking for you. Yeah. He said, your mindset got to change. Don't think negative. Because oftentimes, even when I'm in job, when your supervisor calls you in for me, you immediately think, what's wrong? Yeah. But what if it's a blessing? Right. What if they say, I'm calling you in to give you a promotion? What if I'm calling you in for a raise or an increase? It's our mind. It's the way we think. So we got we got to do away with the the old way we saw uh, that negative thinking. Do away with old things and our old mindset because we want something new. We want a new mindset, a new outlook, a new way. Put on. You got to have a different. How are you viewing what God is doing in your life in this season? Is it positive or is it negative? It. What's your viewpoint? 
What was I you doing? So God said, I need to birth a new mindset for you. This is the season that God is bringing new things and refreshing thoughts. You, it, it may, how many want God to blow your mind? I'm looking for God to blow my mind, astound me. Yeah. And, then, and with that, I need a new mindset. Right. Amen? Right. I want it. God is willing to blow your mind. He wants to blow your mind. And so we, he does why he's giving us in this place of, of, of adapting a new mindset. Because we've got to get rid of that stinking thing. Yeah. Right. That negative right. thing. Right. That, that oppression and depression and being in, in a low place. He said, oh, I need you to come up. Right. I need you to be encouraged. I need you to be motivated. I need you to know that I'm doing some things. I need you to hear me. I need you to think how I would think. Think on those good things. The Bible says to think on those noble, just, and uh, virtue, virtue, uh, things of virtue. He said, I mean, this is how I want you to think. Right. Right. This is what should be in your mind. Amen? So, so God is this, God is uh, prepare, uh, preparing, uh, preparing us or prepping us for a new mindset. And 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 I want you to be prepared for a mind blowing experience because God is going to do some things for the body of Christ, and He's preparing us. And even um, as I was studying, reading. Let's go to uh, Romans 8. Even as we were yesterday in the, um, at the wedding ceremony, there was a lot of uh, people there, and it was just uh, marvelous. It was, um, it, was, it was beautiful to see the union of apostles and Felicia. But even as I, in my message, I was thinking about what uh, Spirit was saying, that he's helping us change our mind. Married couples change their mindset as well. You know, so, because we got to think different about marriage. Because a lot of people um, <laughs> may feel negative toward, have negative thoughts towards marriage. And that, and that, that requires a mind, a change of mindset, amen? So, um, when, you know, when you go to weddings, you have singles and you have married couples. But at the same time, God said, I want their uh, mindset about this. This is what, this is God's doing. Right. Right. God brings two, two individuals together and make them right. one. So don't, don't think negative, negatively about um, where you are. Because if you're not married, God won't send that person. He gonna bring, he gonna bring, bring you that person, but it's your mindset, your mindset, your mindset. Even if uh, 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 married women should think like single women, and married men should be thinking like single men, or acting like he said, I need you to change your mindset. He wants us to change our mindset. Uh, when did I say go? Romans eight. Romans 8 and then verse 27. It says, And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. He said, it said, I mean, he that searcheth the spirit knoweth what is the mind of the spirit. He said, We have to have a mind of the spirit. We gotta think like the Holy. We gotta think just as the Spirit would have us to think. But He said, and then make because He make intercession for us. He's praying. The Holy Spirit is praying for us, praying that we stay our minds stay renewed. Amen. God knows our mind and our mindset. That's why He in Jeremiah 7, uh, seventeen and ten. Go there. Let's let's take it there because I want to show you what God was showing me as I was preparing and studying this. Jeremiah 17. And the reason God would break the word like you said, I've already examined your mind. That's why I know you need to get your mind still. Drop down to verse, uh, well, I'll start reading from verse 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, and whose hope, whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by water, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see, 
when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be and shall not be kept in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from the yielding of fruit. Let's see this one first. Sorry, guys. Give me just a second here. But God examines our mind. And this is what I'm trying to find that verse. I may have worked it down long in my notes. It's 14. It's in Jeremiah, right? Okay. What did you say, Evelyn? Okay, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I need to go down for And it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Lord, that's it, thank you, Evelyn. The Lord searches the heart. I try, I try the reins even to give eat every man according to the ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So it says, He searches he search, he search our hearts, He know our minds. He said, I, I'm searching. I know what's on your mind. And he said, that's why some things that I see that I search and I'm examining your mind should be there. That's why he said, I need a new, new mindset. Right. Amen? He said, a new mindset. Yes. So that's what God is doing. He said, I want you to change the way you've been thinking. Go with me to uh, Romans. Go back to Romans. Romans 8. So if he's already examining your mind, you know what's on your mind, you know what's been troubling you, you know what you've been constantly thinking about. You're like, give it over to the Lord. Give it over to him. He said, uh uh. You don't keep pondering on that thing. Give it to me. Trust me, take me at my word, meditate on my word, amen. Amen. So don't keep pondering on things that God said give to you. So Romans 8 and verse Romans 8 verse 6 It says For to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. He said, I want you to have to be spiritually minded. Right. Be like minded, be loneliness of mind, but also be spiritually minded. To yeah. so be carnal minded, we thinking constantly thinking carnally and not put alignment with the word of God. He said, That's death. Right. He said, I want you to have a spiritual mindset. Right. A spiritual mindset. He said, because that's life. When you have a spiritual mindset, you think in life, you 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 think in blessings and you're not thinking nothing that's doom and gloom. You, you have a lively thoughts. Amen. So that's what God said. He said, I want you to be spiritually minded. Spiritually minded is is life and peace. Having a spiritual mind is saying, I'm at peace with this thing. When you spiritually minded and you have a and, and, and you've been meditating on the word of God, you renew your mind. Uh, you've been frustrated, you're like, God, I need, I need you to take this away from me. He said, be spiritual. You're going to have some peace. He said, it's life and peace. Don't we all want peace? Yeah. So that's why he said, you need a, a new mindset. And that those new mindsets are loneliness of mind, like being like-minded and spiritually minded. So we see that, right? And so, uh, let's go to First Chronicles. Don't have, don't continue to have a mind, a carnal mind that you think in, that's, uh, that's a 
there are no more spiritual minded. I'm giving you right mindedness, loneliness of mind, spiritual mind. It said, renew your minds. First Chronicles, let's go to uh, 28. Verse 9. And it says, And though Solomon my son know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and a willing mind. God says, I want you to be willing. I want you to develop a willing mindset. He said, if you obedient, if you be obedient and willing, willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of He said, that needs to be our mindset. A willing mind. Amen? Amen. He, said, he, said, he said that with a willing mind for the Lord search of all hearts and understand of all the imagination, imaginations of the thought. He said, I've searched your heart and I understand the imaginations of the thought. That's what he said. I need you to have a willing mind. Be willing. Willing. A willing mind. So we said, right mindedness, loneliness of mind, a spiritual mind. He said, I also want you to have a willing mind. Be willing to. To do, go as far as God is calling you to go. Do the things that God is calling you to do. Have a willing mindset. Now let's go to First Corinthians. God is truly wanting to renew our minds and for us to have a new mindset. Are y'all giving this this morning? Second Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 16. And it says, For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. We should have the mind of Christ. Is our we should think as he would he said, take on this mind, which is also in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we must learn to think the same way that Christ Jesus thinks. Amen. So that's gonna take some Renew. That's going to take you renewing your mind. That's going to take you giving in the word. That's going to take you studying the word. That's going to take you meditating on the word. It's not just going to automatically happen. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. That means prayer, time, put, turning the TV out, even when you want to watch your favorite show. You know, say, God, this is me and you. I'm trying to renew my mind. I want to change the way I've been thinking. My thoughts are really negative. My thoughts are, you know, they're, they're not giving me where I want, you know, they, they don't have me viewing things the way that I need to view them as you would have me to view them. So we got to take on his mind. We got to take our mind off and put his mind on. You put the word, put, the, put it in your ear. And you, that's what you're going to meditate on. That's what you're going to begin to declare and decree because you meditated on it. You said, Lord, I, I want to show you. I want to think the way you think. I want to view the things the way you view them. Amen. So that's what God's prepared us. And, it, and it also, that comes with our attitude. Let's wait. Our attitude and our mindset has to be that of Christ. Amen. We must have that uh, of the mind of Christ. So God is preparing us for things He said, but I don't want your mind to hear me. I don't want the way you think to hear me or to cause you to reject me in this season. So I need you to change your mind. I need you to renew your mind. I need you to uh, embrace and accept uh, like-mindedness, being like-minded, loneliness of mind, willing mind, and accepting the mind of Christ. Amen? So at this time, I'm actually closing. I hope that this has blessed you guys. But God is preparing us for, for new and fresh Things God is going to take us places, and you don't have to think. You don't have to see God. You don't have to meditate on God and make sure your the way you think is in the line of God's word. Amen. Because we want to make sure that 
You know, it's God in this season. We want to make sure that if God is speaking, if it's God that is showing us something, and we're not in tune with the way of the world, we're not in tune, uh, or we're not thinking the way that we thought in the past. But how many of y'all, have you ever been around someone that was so negative? He was like, why? They don't have nothing positive to say. But do you know that has to do with their mindset? That's the, that's, that, does, that has to do with their mindset. I'm like, do you ever have anything positive to say? It's always negative, nothing encouraging, because they have not renewed their mind. Their mindset has to change. So when their mindset changes, they worry for change. The word of God says, so as a man thinking, so he speaks. How are we thinking in this season? Is our mind fixed and stayed on the word of God? Is our mind fixed and stayed on Jesus? Are we thinking the way he told us to think? Are we keeping our mind stayed on him? Are we are we in his word and renew? He said, you, you can be transformed if you know the place that you don't want to be in. Renew your mind. I can do it. You can be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So God said, adapt and, and renew your mind. Embrace a new mind. Say amen. Amen. amen.